Okay, what's up boys? It's Salvaje. We're back at it again with another video. So listen guys, there's a common misconception out there uh, That you need to play meta weapons to actually do well in the crucible uh, If you guys want to increase your KD as fast as possible as safe as possible I recommend that you always play on the meta. There's a reason why the meta is the meta, but Today, I'm, I'm just going to be bringing you guys a game with non-meta weapons. Of course, this is a series where I help you guys increase your KD, give you guys a step-by-step -step analysis on why I take specific actions and, you know, why you should do this, why you should that, do that, all that good stuff. If you're lost, you might want to check out the first episode and the second episode, okay? So, um, yeah, guys, uh, we're going to do the... Uh, we're, we're, I mean, we're going to use the uh, Philips B SMG, 600 RPM SMG. I like those SMGs. We're going to use the inaugural address. Uh, this is the Raid Pulse. And, of course, we're going to use the Morgan D. I believe I got this from the Strikes playlist. So, um, remember, this series is about helping you have a positive KD while also, at the same time, you helping out your team. Okay? So... You have to keep in mind that you're going to be using non-meta weapons, which means your playstyle might have to be a little bit sort of um, niche, I guess you could say. I'm pretty sure the gameplay is just going to explain what I'm going to do. The SMG, I'm only going to use it for uh, short, maybe even medium ranges. Okay, the pulse rifle, I want to use it as some uh, supporting fire for my teammates. Okay, I see that they're splitting up, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep following them no matter what. This guy's over here. We're going to whip out the SMG. And just like that, we got an elimination. It's a premacy. So I want to make sure that I'm also playing around my teammates. My teammate got eliminated, which means there's another guy that I can take out. And uh, yeah, we're going to go pick up the helmet right now. So I just want to say, the, the reason why I'm using Hunter as well, it's because I actually don't play Hunter. Even though Hunter is like literally the best subclass, honestly, for uh, PvP. Um, I don't really use Hunter, alright? And the reason why I don't use Hunter is because I just don't feel comfortable with Hunter. I just like having, uh, you know, playing on my Titan, playing on other things, okay? That uh, basically have a jump that lasts a pretty decent amount of time. This is my first game back, by the way, uh, so my aims are not that great. But, again, look at what I'm doing right now, guys. I'm basically playing around my teammates. If you want to increase your KD, I've said it on all the episodes of this series okay you have to play around your teammates it doesn't matter that you don't like team fire it doesn't matter that you don't like how the meta is it doesn't matter that you don't know uh, i mean that you just don't like the way the game is played if you don't play around your teammates you're not gonna increase your kd period okay uh right here i basically just let myself uh get eliminated because at the end of the day i really couldn't do anything uh if i was going to run he would have probably catched up with me eventually Okay, it's a premacy. I want to make sure that I'm getting those crests. And I want to make sure that I'm helping out my team. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to, of course, come over here. And I'm going to play around my team. Listen, guys. As the series goes on, it means that you guys are going to be improving. So, basically, as the series goes on, I'm going to be showing you guys other methods and other playstyles that you guys can use to, of course, increase your KD. You guys have to keep in mind, I just started this series. So I want to take it a little bit slow. Alright. I'm going to back away here. If my teammate gets eliminated, I'm going to, of course, uh, eliminate the guy that eliminated my teammate. Let's just uh, take a, a quick look at my playstyle. As you guys can see, I'm not playing too aggressively. Alright, and I'm playing very campy. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I actually don't have the weapons that basically make me just play at a super average above average level okay i basically have weapons that can't really perform as good as meta weapons which is why i have to play very very campy and uh, that's also another thing that i want to mention you know in this episode of increasing your kd sometimes you're just going to have games guys where you're just not going to be on top of the leaderboard and guess what guys that's completely okay i'm actually not going to get that because i know the enemy team's going to be pushing that crest so what i'm going to do is i'm going to of course uh, come back over here with this teammate Okay, also, my loadout, you know, long range, uh, short ranges, I guess you could say. Basically, oh shit, this guy's gonna eliminate me. Oh, dude, that was nice. My, my loadout basically plays a lot around my team as well. And that's something that you guys also want to keep in mind as you are playing in the PvP environment. You want to ask yourself, how does my loadout help out my team? We're actually on a 
short range type area right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use the dodge. If not, I'm gonna die. We're actually in our short range type room. So of course, I'm gonna use my SMG. And of course, we're also in a map where I can uh, have long sight lines, okay? Which basically means that I'm going to be able to help out my team in short ranges and long ranges. If your loadout is only for short ranges, then you need to be uh, playing around the teammates that play more aggressively. If your loadout is within uh, medium ranges, then you can basically almost do anything. I actually didn't know my ammo ran out there. But it's alright, I'm still going to be able to eliminate him. And I'm going to be able to eliminate this guy right here. Oh, never mind, he got eliminated by my teammate. Oh, okay. See, that guy right there wasn't able to eliminate me because he just wasn't playing around his uh, teammate. I can't really help out my teammate over here because I'm actually very low. Now I'm going to give him some supporting fire. I'm going to get this crest. And uh, I got eliminated, but hey, at least I was able to pick up uh, my dude's crest. Okay, so again, like I said also in episode 1 and episode 2, sometimes you're not going to be able to have the ideal game. But again, guys, your goal every single game, if you want to increase your KD, is to just end up with a positive KD. Just have a positive KD and make sure that you're helping out your team as much as you can. I'm going to stay away from my teammates now, though, because they're basically uh, distracting these guys here. Which basically means that I can manage to flank. Okay, flanking is something that I'm going to do, you know, probably later on in the series. I'm going to use my dodge. Oh, never mind. This guy jumped and got jump on me. But yeah, right there, I was going to use my jump and basically go around because I didn't really want to use my super there. I was basically too weak. I should have used my super, but again, guys, not every game is going to be ideal. Not every game is going to be great. And I'm actually, you know, if you guys take a look at my other videos, you know, that basically, you know, where I help you guys increase your KD and stuff. Um, usually most of the games, you know, that I've posted so far are actually pretty good. But this one is basically just mediocre, but I'm actually glad that it is. Okay, cuz um, well first of all I'm using non-meta weapons, obviously Okay, but also uh, second of all, uh, like I said guys, not every game is going to be great All right, not every game is going to be amazing, but as long as you finish up with a positive KD then you've done your job All right, I basically also wasted my super there, but then again, it's the hunter like I said, I don't play hunter All right, I know there's a guy up here I know this one right here. Oh, okay. Storm Trans. Well, you can't really do anything when you're going against the most OP super in the game that Bungie still hasn't addressed. But it's all good. Anyways, guys. So we played with non-meta weapons. And of course, we still got defeated. But again, it doesn't matter, guys. Okay. I'm pretty sure I gave you guys, uh, you know, some pretty decent examples. And uh, some pretty helpful tips in this video. So I'm actually gonna go, go gonna go ahead and post this one. And I also want to post this one as well because, as you guys know, I'm a you know pretty decent player. I have a pretty you know positive KD. I think it's about 1.86 or something like that. Uh, just to show you guys that I also have shitty games. Look at that. We ended up with 1.83. We did our jobs. All right. We basically had the best KD in the entire game not the most kills which means we could have done better but again this series is all about helping you guys improve as well as of course me improving anyways if you guys enjoyed the video why don't you drop it a like make sure to subscribe to join the Sabai cartel for more destiny 2 content that isn't boring repetitive or negative and uh, i'll be seeing you guys on the next one peace